I'm really honored and uh, excited to have a chance to talk about our project, uh, Nutrition Improvement Project. Okay. And uh, today I will talk about our project in Ghana, which is uh, our first trial to establish what we call social business. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, I will touch up on a brief, very briefly about our research on an innovative biomarker for protein and amino acid nutrition. And then I will briefly talk about our participation in PA International project in China. Okay. So uh, our company, Ajinomoto Group, is a food and amino acid producing company. And why we uh, started this nutrition improvement project? So first point is our company's uh, mission is to promote healthy life to the everyone in the world as described in this uh, motto of the company, eat well, live well. And uh, because our expertise is in uh, food science and amino acid nutrition, we believe that we can make some unique contribution to the uh, nutrition, of, nutrition improvement in the world, in, in developing countries. Actually, we, started, we conducted uh, uh, several studies uh, on the use of amino acid in the nutrition improvement in the countries like Pakistan, China, Syria, Bangladesh, and uh, Ghana in the past, since 1995. Okay, so uh, we define our project as a social business. Uh, our definition of social business is it should be the sustainable business uh, whose aim is to solve the social problems such as malnutrition. And uh, starting from R&D and uh, uh, production sales that will be done in the country, uh, local, uh, the country, target country, and then uh, goal is to improve nutrition, and at the same time, that will create income, uh, that will lead to income generation. And in the long, long term, uh, that will create our, our customers. That is a long-term goal for our comp as a company. And uh, to make this uh, social business feasible, uh, we believe that partnership is very important. I will, I will talk briefly about it during my presentation. Okay. Okay, so uh, we started this project in Ghana. Uh, Ghana is, as you know, the, in the, located in West Africa. And uh, why we start this project in Ghana? Because in Ghana, uh, there are many various social tech sectors working ac very actively on the nutrition improvement. And that is why uh, we will be able to have very close collaboration with many uh, partners, that means it is a very good place to create social business model. That is our belief. Okay. And our target is to develop nutrition supplement. We name it Coco, Coco Plus, uh, to the traditional complementary food made from fermented corn dough, which is called Coco. So this photo shows the preparation of Coco at home. So basically, it is made of corn, fermented corn dough, added only sugar. So because of it is made of only corn and sugar, it is not sufficient in protein, amino acid, and also micronutrients like vitamin minerals. So our, our target is actually to produce the uh, nutrition supplement, which can be used during this uh, preparation of porridge. Okay? So this morning, uh, 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 many speakers talked about this. The, uh, period from six to 24 months is a very crucial period for nutrition improvement. In fact, in Ghana, as you, this figure shows, that the stunting increase from six months, and then uh, at the age of two year, it, may, it, it reach even around 30, 40%. So how to improve this nutrition during this period is a crucial issue, and, the, and it is a window of opportunity, okay? And our, our uh, Project is to de develop nutrition supplement uh, because th it is not sufficient in the pr uh, protein and uh, micronutrient. So our idea is to uh, develop a small sachet of nutrient supplement, which is about 15 gram, 15, 16 gram. And main ingredient is locally produced. This is also important point. Locally produced soybean powder. And in addition to some oil and sugar and l which is essential amino acid, and, and a micronutrient premix, which is vitamin A, folic acid, ion zinc, and so on. Then by adding this supplement to replace only sugar, 
we, we can expect uh, a, good balance of, I mean, uh, a good balance of nutrient for this complementary food. Okay. Uh, we started this project uh, in 2009, December, with a collaborator, or local collaborator of University of Ghana, and also uh, Navy Inscription International Nutrition Foundation, which is the NPO in the, in the US. So it's, a, it's about two years since we started. Okay. So it's a still ongoing project. And uh, after about two years of development phase and some market survey, now we are now in the phase two, in which we are going to conduct efficacy study, which is a controlled nutritional study, and also effect effectiveness study, which is uh, to test the delivery system, both in the community-based and also the market-based uh, delivery system. And then we want to prepare for large-scale production and launching that is expected in phase three. Okay. So our idea is to produce this type of uh, supplement, small sachet. And uh, it is called the home fortification or point, point of use fortification. That means by mothers add this supplement when they prepare porridge. Okay. And uh, so this supplement should be acceptable in terms of taste and flavor for local people in Ghana. So that is why this, uh, as this photo shows, that uh, our local partner, University of Ghana, conducted sensory tests to confirm that the porridge supplemented with uh, this nutrition supplement is preferred by most of the Ghanaian people compared with tradi traditional uh, porridge, which is only with uh, sugar, okay? I will talk about the public-private partnership. Uh, this project has been supported by JICA, Japan International Nutrition Foundation, uh, Japan, sorry, Japan, uh, Japan International Corporation, Corporation Agency. Actually, JICA has studied this uh, public-private partnership scheme uh, just recently. That this is the first trial for them, and uh, the project called Preparatory Survey for BOP Business promotion, uh, we get support from them to conduct uh, the studies like uh, efficacy and effectiveness study. And recently, you also get the support from USAID. We're going to get USAID in the context of Global Development Alliance. Our common interest is how to develop feasible uh, delivery system and also the uh, supply of soybean, which is the uh, kind of link between agriculture and nutrition. So the uh, developing uh, better value chain of soybean is a common interest. And this collaboration will be under uh, what they call US-Japan collaboration scheme in uh, maternal and health, uh, child health, which they are launching just recently. Okay? And uh, another important point uh, for, for this project is how to develop sustainable, feasible delivery system. And uh, as you can see that uh, how to reach the target population, rural community population, uh, we call it last mile delivery system. And uh, for, for this project, we have decided to work with an international NGO called CARE International because they have a experience of delivering the uh, various product to the community through the network of sales ladies. And they have been working in Ghana uh, in the project so-called Village Saving and Loan Association, which is to empower women in the rural area, okay? So our idea is to develop a network of, of sales lady based on this VSLA system in the rural area. Okay, so this uh, delivery system uh, recently gained Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition has decided to support our project, especially in monitoring and evaluation of the delivery system. Uh, by providing us with uh, expertise in M&D and also funding for the activity for uh, partner NGO. Okay. The clear goal for the uh, collaboration with GAIN is to create this sustainable business model which can contribute to nutrition improvement of children. We had a meeting uh, together with GAIN people last month and uh, that was quite an exciting experience for us that uh, we have to really uh, analyze the, this uh, supply chain starting from production to the consumption of the uh, uh, product so that we can create really the sustainable business model, okay? 
I so just uh, two slides left, uh, remaining. So uh, another story. So we are we are interested in the, we are interested in uh, creating what we call innovating biomarker for protein and amino acid nutrition. Actually, the reason why uh, amino acid and protein nutrition is not so emphasized in the malnutrition field is one reason is a lack of uh, proper appropriate biomarker. Uh, this is a kind of uh, model experiment by uh, using a rat. But as you can see, this prealbumin, which is usually used as a conventional, conventional biomarker, it doesn't respond very uh, sensitively to the slight change in the protein level. But as you can see here, uh, the plasma amino acid level responds quite sensi sensitively to the level of the protein given to the animal. So our idea is by applying uh, what we call bioinformatic uh, uh, technology, we can create some kind of biomarker which can be used to judge the, uh, the level of amino protein nutrition in the community or, or for certain pe people so that this can be used for the policy decision, for example, in, in the future. So we, we're going to uh, conduct this study in combination with this efficacy study, which we expect to start uh, next year. Last slide, uh, we participate in the uh, PA International's uh, project in China, which, in which they try to introduce bamboo as a kind of, uh, one of the component of the uh, project. And uh, we are interested in, uh, we are looking into the uh, nutrition value of bamboo shoots. And this just show, wanted to show that it seems that uh, it's a good, also a good source of protein in, or amino acid uh, in comparison with the uh, other protein source like soybean. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Turide.